Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant by request again, Brahmaster. Uh, another movie coming out of India in cinemas September 9th. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 9. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. And I still get paid. And I can give Little Joan treats. Anyhow, this is the Indian Avengers. Uh, to put it bluntly... So it's about an ancient power. Uh, I think it's based on Indian mythology, which I know very little about. And um, each person has different powers based on, some of it's based on elements, fire, water, and air. But some of it's based on other stuff. Um, and it's about a kid who has the power uh, theme that we've seen Plenty of times in movies. I'm sure there are songs in this. He's called DJ Shiva. <laughs> and he has uh, Shiva's power of fire. Fire doesn't burn him. And I think he can control fire. So there he is controlling the fire. It comes to him. And then this is his new girlfriend who he's in love with. And uh, it's got elements of the fifth element too. Because then uh, the power of love is an important thing and it's about the power of darkness and light and then this is going to be his his trainer and then this is probably one of the bad guys and they summon all these powers and there's a ton of cgi uh yep the indians have the cgi technology everyone um so this september to this world of astras so weapons i guess astra means weapons it says there right there so um so he's an astra it's sort of like being a mutant, uh, in a way. But I think it's got more of a Indian mythos kind of background to it. So he can, you know, shoot fire. This this person can shoot green arrows. And she's got power. Uh, everybody's got power. This guy looks like Aquaman. So it's it's really, you know, their version of superheroes. Only I think it's tied into their mythos, which is tied into a bit. I, of religion right I mean there's a little bit of religious stuff in here um, so you can see and it's part one Shiva so it, it is very much September 9th so it's very much like the Avengers in that respect they're sort of introducing the characters one by one smart smart to use the Avengers sort of uh, structure that's a good way to do it um, so September 9th in cinemas the light is coming. So that's the tagline. So they got it all. See, they're, they're doing some Hollywood stuff here. Um, let's see. I can't sit and find the director. They put their credits a little differently. A film by A.N. Mukherjee. Mukherjee, I think. Uh, I think that's the director. Uh, let's see if we find the screenwriter. Got one, two, three, four, five, six producers. Also, the director is a producer, so good on you. Getting that credit. Only one executive produ uh, producer. See, you don't need a lot of EPs. We hand them out like candy in America. That credit just like everybody. Oh, executive producer. Here you go. A lot of cinematographers. Oh, one, two, three cinematographers. Four, five cinematographers. Wow. Where's the screenwriter? That's what I'm looking for. Because this is all about screenwriting on my channel. I'm not seeing the screenwriter. I'll just assume the director is also the screenwriting. Oh, look. It says Astroverse. So, yeah. This is really... <laughs> this is really going to be their version of the Marvelverse. Uh, this is going to be their MCU. I wonder if they have... Com Do they have comics based on this? That would be funny. And what would really be great is the MCU versus uh, the, how do you say it, Brahmasta? Brahmastra. Bra Brahmastra. It's like Brahman and Astra combined. Brahmastra. Astraverse. I'd love to see the MCU at versus the Astroverse, right? You know, they see all the, all the heroes team up and then all, you know, first they fight, but then they team up and... You know, the evil villains get together and then they team up and then it's a big fight at the end. That'd be great. 
That'd be great. Come on. Tell me you wouldn't pay to see that. Um, September 9th in cinemas. Well, you know, this is a pretty standard story. So it's about a kid or young man, I should say. He gets, he's he's the chosen one or he, he has some sort of power. I guess he's a popular DJ uh, and he has this power and uh, he's also falling in love because there's always a love story because this, you know, good on you. Uh, Indian cinema for keeping the love stories. I mean, that's something that used to be standard in Hollywood movies. Absolute standard. Oh, you got to have a love story every single time. Now it's kind of fallen by the wayside because everybody's an idiot in Hollywood. Um, so anyhow, uh, he's got this power and there's going to be music. There's going to be songs. So it's kind of going to be a musical again, I think. I mean, this is clearly, clearly a song. They're dancing. I bet it's a song. That's eh, just my guess. So um, he's got the power in the first act, and at first he doesn't want it, um, and uh, maybe it's messing up his whole, you know, DJ thing. But then I don't know. He has to. He ha He finds out he he's needed to save the world. Uh, otherwise, you know, the world will come to an end, and he lives on Earth, so that's no good. So he joins up. And tries to get training and he has to fight some of the bad guys. And I assume these are some of the bad guys. Could destroy everything. Yeah. And this, this she definitely looks like a bad guy. Yeah, she looks really evil. Yeah, very evil. So, um, and then the third act is a big fight. They win. And then in the end, uh, the, it leads into another movie, I think much like the Avengers, right? So it'll be a big fight. He'll win. Maybe this guy dies because he's the mentor, but he probably lives because he needs to mentor the other characters that are coming. I assume this is going to be a whole universe. Smart move. I mean, to you know, look, Mar uh, Marvel did it. It was a huge success. And then Warner Brothers, they got basically the same kinds of characters. They did it backwards. <laughs> Instead of introducing Aquaman and then Batman and then Superman and then Martian Manhunter and then Wonder Woman, instead of doing all separate movies and then ending it with like, we're doing a Justice League initiative, for some reason they did it kind of backwards and halfway through started the Justice League and, you know, early on the, the Suicide Squad, that was the wrong way. But um, I would be very interested to know if there are comics that go along with this. But I think this is more about Indian mythology than anything else. So you don't really need comics. It would be the equivalent of like pulling stories out of the Bible, I think, in, in some respects. So part one, Shiva. It begins. Eh, it looks all right. Would I watch it? I got to be honest. Probably not. Probably not. Look, I'm sure it's going to be... I'm sure it's going to be fun, but it's not going to be fun for me because I don't I don't have the background in the mythology to really tune into it. So it's not going to connect with me. I mean, it looks fine. It looks like it's fun. It doesn't look as insane as the other Indian movie I watched, RRR. That was insane. I really enjoyed that. This doesn't look that insane. It looks pretty standard. The effects are okay. They're not blowing me away, but they're okay. Eh, it's not really connecting with me. I like insane action scenes. So would I watch it? Probably not. I mean, I think it'll be okay to watch. Will it appeal to American audiences? Mm, I don't think there's a huge crossover appeal, but some. Some, maybe for people who are dying to see more superpowers. It's kind of played here. You know, people are getting sick of the whole superpower nonsense. And they would associate this with that. And that association would probably make them go, eh, nah, I'd rather see something else just the way it is but in, in for an Indian audience I could totally see this being a huge thing so uh, looks good looks good I wish you what wow 8 million views since June 15th that was yesterday holy crap <laughs> there's a lot of people who live in India and that's it for me Tony D and little squirmy Joan check us out on Odyssey Bit Shoot and Rumble for our more base takes thanks for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow.